Hi all, in this video we will be going through the counting sort. Let's consider a sample input array like this. Step 1 would be to determine the number range. Step 2 would be to create an empty index and the size should be the maximum we obtained previously. Step 3 is to fill the index array with the number of occurrences of each index. For example, in our input list, 1 does not occur, so the number of occurrences is 0. Number 2 occurs once in our input list, so the number of occurrences would be 1. Number 3 does not occur, so the number of occurrences is 0. Number 4 occurs twice in our input list, which means the number of occurrences would be 2. Similarly, we need to fill in the values of the index array. Once we have the number of occurrences filled in, step 4 would be to sum up the predecessor values. The first occurrence has no predecessor so it will not be updated. The index 2 has value 1 and the predecessor is 0, so the sum of 0 plus 1 is 1. Index 3 has value 0 and 1 plus 0 is 1. Index 4 has the value 2 and the previous value is 1, therefore 1 plus 2 equals 3. Similarly, the index array needs to be updated with the sums. Once the index array is ready to be used, we need to create an empty array to store the sorted number list. Let's call this the output array. Step 6 is the processing step where we will be mapping the indexes with the values and filling in the output array. The first element is 4. Find the index 4 in index array. The value of index array is 3. Find the index 3 in output array and fill the value. The important part of this process is to decrement the index array value. The value was 3 and after decrementing the new value should be 2. Let's move on to the next element which is 9. Find the index 9 in index array. The value of index array is 6. Find the index 6 in output array and fill in the value. Again, we need to decrement the index array value. The value was 6 and after decrementing the new value should be 5. Let's move on to the next element, 2. Find the index 2 in index array. The value of the index array is 1. Find index 1 in output array and fill in the value. Again, we need to decrement the index array value. Moving on to the next element which is 4. Find index 4 in index array. The value of index array is 2. Find the index 2 in output array and fill in the value. Here you would notice the importance of decrementing the index array value. If it had not been decremented before, we would still get 3 which is already filled in the output array. Again, we need to decrement the index array value. Back to our input list, let's move on to the next element which is 7. Find index 7 in the index array. The value of index array is 5. Find the index 5 in output array and fill in the value. Again, we need to decrement the index array value. Moving on to the last element which is 6. Find the index 6 in index array. The value of index array is 4. Find the index 4 in output array and fill in the value. Again, we need to decrement the de index array value. Since we have iterated over all the elements in the input list, the output array should now hold the sorted output. Moving on to some quick facts about the quick sort. The time complexity as well as the space complexity of this algorithm is O n plus k, where n is the number of elements and k is the range of elements. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more.